Bolivia is an amazing country, rich in minerals, gas, and petrol, and in its flora and fauna. But the biggest treasure of Bolivia is its people, with their joy of life, their common religion, their capacity to suffer, and their sense of family and hospitality. However, this richness is an enormous contrast to the poverty of the majority of its population. Some of the saddest faces are the ones of the children and teenagers who live and work on the streets. In the city of La Paz alone, around 30,000 children live in the streets. 7,000 do not attend school and around 2,000 are completely abandoned. They are born into poverty, growing up without love, robbed of their childhood, and left without a future. Their homes are the streets. Most of them have never said mum to a mother or dad to a father. They spend their lives working, begging, and sometimes stealing. Many of the girls are forced into prostitution. The youngest are only 10 or 11. One example of many is Francisca. How old are you? 12 years old. How long have you been a prostitute? Since last year, when I was 11 years old. How much did you charge? The sexual act cost one dollar, enough for food and to live and to get by. During the night, boys and girls sleep in the open air in the hotel of a thousand stars, under bridges or in empty graves in cemeteries. All of the children have one thing in common, the pain of not being loved. Society calls them expendable, as if they are something without any value or future. Often it is not hunger that is the greatest pain, but that of a life without a family, without protection and without love. The words written by the young Nicholas Mamami, a beneficiary of the Arcaris Foundation, who died at 19, tell such a story. His diary reads the following. Nací debajo del puente. Mi mamá era sorda muda. La embarazaron y el resultado era yo. Me crié con otra mujer sin ningún cariño. Con siete años me vino a la cabeza escapar sin saber lo que me esperaba en la calle. La clefa se hizo un vicio para mí. Me mantenía cuidando coches y macheteando. Dormía sobre un cartón en la calle. Un día me llevaron a robar. Tenía ocho años. Nos fue mal. Los grandes podían escaparse. Y ahí mí me pescaron y me acusaron de haber robado. Dos policías me llevaron al centro terapia varones. Este lugar era un infierno. Me hicieron sufrir hambre y me pegaron. Estaba mal de los riñones y tenía ataques de epilepsia. Con tanto dormir en la calle y pasar frío, me arruiné los riñones para siempre. Encontré la Fundación Arcoiris y allá me trataron con cariño. Allí empecé a estudiar de noche. En la casa todos somos como una familia y el personal es como un padre y una madre. No sé qué será de mi vida. Siento que voy a morir pronto, pero gracias a este hogar y al esfuerzo del Padre José, mi vida sigue adelante. Nunca me ha quedado decir mamá o papá a alguien. Mis devotos solo lo sabe una persona que se llama Dios. Y tengo fe que Él me salvará y podré ser un joven feliz con un futuro mejor.
The future of tomorrow lives with the children of today. For 15 years, Foundation Arcarius has lived and worked alongside many abandoned young people. Under the symbol of the rainbow, it offers thousands of abandoned children, victims of neglect, children of parents in prison, and those who live and work on the streets of La Paz. Shelter, food, medical care, clothes, education, and most importantly, love. Foundation Arcoiris is formed of three parts. Social projects, productive units, hospital Arcoiris. The foundation has seven houses. One, a home called Niñas Obrajes, where 120 girls live without any family. Yo me llamo Erika. Estoy en el hogar de Niñas Obrajes cuatro años. Gracias a la fundación, hay coiris, juego, hago mis tareas, voy al colegio, nada más. The other, Casa Esperanza, provides shelter for 70 boys. A house called Casa Refugio provides support for young mothers who have been abandoned by society. Casa de Paso provides shelter and relief for children and teenagers who live and work on the streets of La Paz, helping them to leave behind drug abuse, abstain from alcohol and delinquency, and adapt to living in a community in a safe environment. Furthermore, the foundation teaches them how to save their earnings in collaboration with the bank. Mi nombre es Wilson Saavedra. Yo trabajo desde la niñez en la calle del Sacalzado, trabajando todos los días para esfuerzo para para surgir para más allá. Quiero ser un día mejor, ¿no? Sinceramente bien agradecido por la fundación por ayudar en mis ahorros de mi persona. Yo voy a ser un día un gran profesional. There are also two centers for school support. Casa Petania and Mutual La Primera, which are kindergartens for children whose parents work full time, yet have a very low standard of living and live in the poorest areas of the city. Social projects. The Arcoiris Foundation offers social help to families of children who succumb for different reasons into a situation of extreme crisis, offering them economic help for as long as necessary to sustain themselves. Amongst its children's homes, the foundation gives shelter to more than 300 children with no family, provides food daily to 900, and helps a thousand every year in their schooling and professional studies through schemes such as alphabetization courses. It bestows daily social, psychological, and legal help to 4,000 girls, boys, and teenagers. Productive Units Aware of the alarming situation of the poverty of thousands of children and teenagers in La Paz, the Foundation felt responsible to help with food, clothes, shelter, medical assistance, and education. The objective of the foundation is to fight for each current or ex-beneficiary so that he or she can reach their personal, social and working potential. The objective of the foundation is to fight for each current or ex-beneficiary so that he or she can reach their potential. A bakery, carpentry, handicraft centre, metal workshop and cafe restaurant were set up to assist the young people in making the transition from living in a home to working life by giving them a skill or a profession. Soy Juan Adolfo Ticona y soy ex beneficiario de la Casa de Paso. Durante tres años muy capacitado en unidades productivas, en carpintería. Y doy gracias a la Fundación Arcoiris por haberme ayudado en esta capacitación. Y ahora soy un buen carpintero. Hospital Arcoiris. The star project of the foundation is Hospital Arcoiris with a capacity of 100 beds, the latest technology, and highly qualified staff. 
It is one of the best medical centers in the city of La Paz. Mi nombre es Zené Acho Chijo y mi esposa tuvo un accidente de tránsito. Un minibús atropelló y atendieron inmediatamente aquí al hospital Arcuíres. Que hicieron un esfuerzo grande para salvar la vida de mi esposa. Yo agradezco infinitamente, de verdad, a este hospital. It was recently classified as a second level hospital by the Bolivian government. Primarily, the hospital plays a social role, offering free medical treatment to street children under the age of 18 years. Every year, more than 60,000 treatments are provided free of charge. The hospital also has three ambulances that visit the poorest, outermost areas of La Paz every day, where they give free medical and dental care to street children. Over the course of 15 years, Foundation Arca Iris has been able to help thousands of children, facilitating the chance for each of them to find a better life and a happier place in society. Giving to each of them what they need most, love and affection, teaching them to dream and to fight for those dreams, and realizing their ambitions to leave behind the streets and find a real home. Mi nombre es Claudia Rodríguez Miranda. Eh, yo ingresé a la Fundación Arcoiris a mis 14 años. Soy una ex beneficiaria en este momento, pero en los cinco años que yo estuve en la Fundación Arcoiris me brindaron apoyo psicológico, apoyo moral, apoyo económico. Pude realizar el sueño de mi vida, de formar una familia. Y lo más importante, trabajar por un futuro mejor. For the whole of the 15 years, the motto of the Arcoiris Foundation has been the words of Mother Teresa of Calcutta, frequently repeated by Father Joseph. I believe in the words of Mother Teresa of Calcutta, who said, a world in which one child suffers less is already a better world. Fundación Arcoiris. 15 años trabajando por los niños abandonados y de la calle.